There he is. What's up guys? Jason here from PC Fun. Today's video is going to be awesome. My buddy Ben and I are going to take you out with us and we're going to go out and we're going to tackle some big, big bluegills through the ice. We're fishing a super gin clear lake, so we're going to show you the big things that you can do to improve your success when fishing in clear water. Make sure you stay tuned and get ready for some big gill action. That is hooked up. Oh, look at that big gill. That is a beauty. That's all right. Well, Ben, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're doing and uh, how we're targeting these big gills on this clear lake we're on. Uh, so, like Jason said, we're in uh, some super clear water. Uh, very, very clear. Um, so we're using really small baits. Uh, I'm using a two and a half millimeter Fisca tungsten epoxy with a single red spike uh, using two pound fluorocarbon uh, 24 inch JT panhandler this fun ICX5 and uh, we're fishing anywhere from 22 or 18 to 22 feet of water and uh, these fish are actually being pretty finicky today so we're having to change up our jigging cadence quite a bit to get them to commit but made a couple moves and uh, I think we found some more active fish now. So awesome! Let's get to it. See if we can't get some more beautiful fish like that one. Exactly. Let's get that big, big one back. Come on. In this segment, you heard Ben mention jigging cadence. As you can see here, Ben starts by popping the jig rapidly. This gets the attention of those big fish, but. Unlike most lakes, when you're in clear water and those fish get close, you truly have to slow down and swim that jig. Fish are so lethargic in the wintertime. This really helps get those bites from those big fish. I often get questions from people about how I'm able to catch so many fish through the ice. And to be honest, it's a really simple answer. Just think, when you're out on the boat in the open water, you're constantly moving spots and trying to locate fish. Well, the reality is you have to do the same thing on the ice. We drill tons and tons of holes to try to figure out exactly where these fish are holding. By doing that, you're gonna catch a lot more fish on the ice. As you can see here, Ben is walking and drilling a grid. Drilling a large grid like this allows me to take my Markham LX7 or RT9 and walk and drop my transducer in each hole. That way I can check pretty quickly to see if there's fish in every area that I'm fishing. Once we settle in and we really find those fish, then we're able to start catching. by the 
the colors on these gills that we're fishing in really clear water. They're not the same color as an average bluegill. Now, the, the gill that he's holding right now is probably about seven and a half to eight inches, and that's what we call small on this lake. So we're really chasing those big, I mean, we're chasing 10 to 11 inch gills. Hopefully we can get one of those later. Yeah, I hope so. Another really important thing that I wanted to point out is the type of knot that I use with my jigs. As you look at this jig, you can see that I'm using something that's called a loop knot. So what that does, it allows the jig to sit naturally in that crevice or that loop, and then you get a perfect presentation, whether you're using a vertical jig or a horizontal jig, or this Fisca jig that kind of gives you a slight downward angle. That knot gives you the perfect presentation for those finicky fish. You'll notice that Ben and I were not using spinning reels in this video. Instead, we were using PC Fun fly style reels. By using fly style reels, you can all but eliminate jig spin. Jig spin can cause big finicky bluegills to shy away from biting your bait once you finally get them to commit. So you definitely want to make sure that you use everything to your advantage when trying to chase these big fish. Oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah, that is definitely the ones we're looking for there. is a giant look at that gill that is exactly what we're out here looking for that fish is over 10 inches guys absolute giant go ahead we're gonna get this fish back right away no freeze issues God, look at that beautiful fish big beautiful gill let's go ahead and get her back searching uh, clear water lakes are always tough to fish and you really have to be on that spot on the spot so Ben and I did a number of different things different jig sizes different techniques um, and really what it boiled down to is finding the right area and using the right jigging cadence to get those fish to really commit don't get discouraged when you're fishing clear water lakes just keep changing it out keep trying new things and you'll definitely find some success as always thanks for watching please hit that subscribe button and follow us on Instagram and Facebook